And in this episode, we are taking on the Kansas City Royals. You see, the Jays are rolling along this season. And, well, with the actual MLB season coming to a close very soon and Ned Yost retiring, he's not the manager of the Royals in this franchise. But I figured since we had a series against the Royals, we would give him a farewell of his own because... Afternoon baseball I started seriously now watching baseball Sunday from around 2012, and um, yeah, in the I, I, really, I started really watching when like the Phillies were the laughing stock of the league. I mean, they still kind of. Door first at bat <laughs> for him as he enters play, play third in the American anyway, League yeah, batting race. So I mean, this is on the, the, uh, the Royals. I there's just and they're one of those teams that's like as he takes away not many people dislike the Royals. Now, I think that was me. Like, like starting nine for the first one. playoff you games I actually like started watching like really intent yeah, was like take a look at Athletics Royals 2014 wild card game and uh, they are stationed I really wanted to and trying to hit the ball Royals were the team I wanted to win the World Series that year. Ned Yost is the manager of that club with Lorenzo Cain. And honestly, it's like, high calls for 80 degrees, other than, but we're at other than the Yankees here in opening pitch. and the Brewers Tucci and the Indians, back and the Royals are up there as the one of my favorite teams. Number two. So, third. yeah, so I was just, Red Yost calling it, calling it a, first calling it a day here after the top of the first with his, like, 10th season or something. As the Royals the manager, here, I felt so like, you know, I should, I should give him, like, I don't know, not, not really honor him, but, you know, guys. They are give in him a game in the series. Pretty bad stretch as they've dropped yeah. six straight coming in. in. Yeah, I get it, so, Maddie. The team's on a moderate losing streak right now. Here we are, can't be happy playing with the at way the K. Play, but they have to find a like way. Like I said, Jay so rolling right along. Um, I made one trade since the last episode. I was looking at awards. I was, um, and I was like, oh, Keston Hero won Rookie of the Year last year. And I kind of just messed around. I wonder if I could get him. And I went to Trade Finder and they just three prospects so Digging I got in now, and so he Montana. is now an extra things off here in the player to have on the, the bench so he is going to start in this to the lead off hitter for Kansas City. Okay. Oh. And Dan D. Rowe, the Blue Jays as they enter play and here Apple this afternoon. Apple ripping the center field shout is there, one away. The hottest team in baseball right now. <coughs> eight of their last <coughs> ten ball games. And with that, here's a look at the hometown Royals starting lineup card. Anybody catch your idea? Now Leo Miranda. Brett Phillips is looking to turn it around right now. He hasn't looked like himself at all you know, he's there for really number two. I'm watching I was trying to record hands. this yesterday, but the server was off. not oh, working. Really I was trying to record trying to it, out so why he's yesterday so I was actually going to do that. quite a few two and one episodes. Now. I planned on just trying to like grind through this yeah, amount of two balls season, and two strikes now. I couldn't really Got him to chase after and, uh, the curveball below so, the zone there. That was a I know, maybe next week. Right past him, a swing and a miss at the Sunday gas, and that ends the inning. Plans, and then I have school. So, at the plate, we maybe next week. A real threat with the bat, of course. Miguel Andujar leads the American at the top League of the second. Runs. Yeah, it's still early in the year right now, from, and this guy's not known to be a huge power right. threat, but he's gotten off to an amazing Glenn start. Sparkman? Yes. Okay. And I'd like to see him have a hot season and ride it out. People, he's like, you know. He's not exactly a top tier player, so Blandino's got it. It's hard to remember to players like, in time, like and him there's one gone here to start the second. Then it is to remember people like Mike Trout. Got him good. The right field. So one away here with Mitch Haniger, who started off the year pretty the slow, still not doing great, Mitch but he has Hanniger. got his uh, average above the Mendoza line, and I'm going to hope that it continues to climb. That's not going to help. To the left. Tochi falls off the left fielder as he takes so charge two for quick the second outs out. in the inning. That will... No, no, no he's not. Okay, that he's brings up Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladimir. I also gave the Royals kind of some throwback one, uniforms. One I think they wore those before nice Nebula's time as manager, time, but, you know. Well, today's game provides the <laughs> visiting squad with a chance to complete the why not, series sweep, Why not throw guys? it back a little bit? One of the toughest things to uh, do at this level yeah. is to win on if the you road. play the Giants, the win today, this would then, be a sweep of a road well, it'll series. be after the actual, like, the act, when the actual motion, playoffs are going on in the end. It'll be, we play them, I might the still do a Bruce Bochy farewell. Is after it. But we did do He's Giants last year, and Bochy wasn't in. I don't, I wasn't paying attention to him, I just, 
And now no, this year that we had Landon Baldwin for a while, and then I fired him. Series, two for six. And, um, two and one yeah, I don't know who I mean. I forgot the name of our manager. Ball even at two and two. Two two count now. It's now it looks to get right through. There. Through another batter and the pitch to Bennett ball. swung on a miss he picks up now. another now the fastball is right by him Break as he swings and misses for, for the first out of the inning in the second digging in now for Kansas City for number six difficulties he made that bats in the series he's collected three hits a good fastball from Snell in there one two now one two and Muto also getting a start today even though Gary Sanchez has taken over the role as starting catcher as Muto is starting to um Here's a fastball in Starting on the fist, kind of and that'll even things up at 2-2. Two two. As a top-tier catcher, he's still very good. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say but he he's not the, the player he was when we traded for him. So, now in the box, Sanchez, Brett who's still Phillips. young you and below the dreaded getting Mendoza better. Line. Three and two now. Um, yeah, he's going to be getting the starts. Hold high in the air out to right field. Henniger now, moves over. Now, through two. And that ends the inning. Casey. Um, Coming to the plate now, of JT, Jake Tito Muto. He's going to step into the batter's box. I mean, you see, he's still hitting 357, but he's hitting that in oh, 115 at-bats. Okay. Like right I said, now. he's still doing very well, but uh, he's just not, that time he's and it's not one as and good two. in the starting role. I mean, this offense has gotten some he, ugly swings Gary Sanchez is like now in 88 and he's in 86 when we got him. Right Muto was, mixing and matching I think, in 88 when we got him. Maybe in 86 when we got him. And now is the and a good effort as he's able to gather it in and make the so play. So he's definitely the on the deep time. Now Kessin Hira. He steps in. Not having a great season so far, but he is last year's rookie of the year. He is 22, so. Line um, towards center field. He's but still going to have time to develop, and um, to the, the reason I didn't have a problem giving up three kind of solid prospects out. for him is, Francisco. yeah, those people could so end up being pretty good, but for one for we, I'm trying to, like, we this have a good team, but some of it is a, like, kind of old. Right there for the third Not end. all of it, but, like, <laughs> it's starting to, um, I don't know how long this franchise is going to go. It's going to go on for quite a few more years. But I don't want it to get to a point where we don't have any solid young players. So I want it to be, like, people like Yura who we can have. We might not have a huge spot on the team right now, but in three or four years, would pro it's probably going to be our starting second base. So about what future holds, no, especially for some of their younger players. To this one Back off. to you, Matt. Four strikes. Thank you, Heidi. You froze him on the fastball there. Alex Blandino has retired for the first out oh, here in the bottom half. Left ball of the hitting third. the right field. Hanniger under it. Hanniger two away. Is there, two now down. making quick work of the Royals for a third inning in a row. Uh, yeah, so Set third to get inning. his day started, Kyle uh, Ishioka. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Former Yankees farm catcher, uh, Kyle Higashiroka, or whatever so they call him. So with the walk, he's the first base runner for Kansas City. And he fouls this one off. Looking to... Uh, both teams come so back off a walk and that lose another and he won't he will pick up he his says, you fifth be kidding me. strike out of the game but he is getting no Here's offensive support Glenn Sparkman doing a great job of shutting down this Royals offense this game is only one right hit we move into the middle innings for, from no 10 batters so far they get two Mike Trout a leadoff single here in the fourth that could be the start of something big as now Last year's MVP, probably not going to go back to back MVPs. You still have a decent season. Juan Soto steps in, but Anthony Rendon and Miguel Andujar are both killing it. They are having such good seasons and a wild throw, everybody will be safe. Wow, E3. And that's not good. You see Red Jones. Eight. He has almost doubled Soto's home. Uh, 45 RBIs and 83 home runs. By the way, next episode will probably be the All-Star break. And that's why Rendon is in the MVP question. He rips that into the gap. Trout will score. Soto is headed home. He... 
Real score, it's 2-0 in Toronto in the fourth. Okay, so there's not as many episodes like going into every enter. season now. But, this guy's but because I want to get through more seasons. Like this and that one but there's going to be a lot of seasons. This is like, what, episode 103? There's like only one ten in all of uh, the Giants franchise, so we're already and getting close to where we were quickly. then, and, and we still got a lot out. left in the tank now for this franchise. Stepping in so. now is Mitch Hanniger. Nobody outrunners on the corner now. for Mitch Hanniger. Can he keep the rally going? Sparkman in trouble, now a fast and a two-seamer inside, the two and one. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off two, the plate to pitch. keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. Hanager. And he'll try to hold back the swing, Didn't but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Checking the swing. Two, two. No two, two pitch. Here now the two, two. Is a base hit and, and another run will score. An RBI for single for Hanager. It's really the nothing for him. As the runner from third crosses the plate. I got to say this in the last well, episode. Good. This is what the Royals right did in 2014 and 2015 to get to the World Series. Yeah, just grab themselves an RBI right there. Didn't Vladimir try to do too Guerrero much. Junior. Took what the pitcher gave him. Just and keep it the out. line moving. In the air out to left field. Bennett is there. He'll bring this one in. And Duhar testing the arm. That'll be a double play. A double play. And if that doesn't take the air out of this Jays lineup, I don't know what it is. 2-1 count on JT Real Muto with a run on first. The plate so far. Do a slider and miss him right away. 3-1 here on deck. You know, guys, deck. these hitters have had some great looks at that slider so far. And clearly, they're all on the pitch. same page. The plan is simple. Lay out that slider and make him bring up something straight in the strike zone. Sparkman with 22 pitches in the here. inning. His uh, first really bad inning of the game as he really shut down the Jays lineup early. And this pitch but now he's going to lose Real Muto. So that's going to move a runner into scoring and position now. And he's definitely falling away. apart here in the fourth. So now Keston Gura, an RBI seven, opportunity here in far. the fourth. 1-1 one, one pitch, Line drive hit to well to left to almost hit it and too hard in plenty of time to because put it this goes one away right to the left fielder to end the inning. So they pick up three runs on four hits, one error, and a couple so of men left. three nothing as we head to the bottom of the fourth no now, where Snell will just miss with his fastball. Sometimes it can be um, difficult for a pitcher you're facing a Snell guy that's really, not known you know, to be a big stick um, in the lineup. Not Sometimes in his last start. I think, well, is actually, it was a few starts ago because I quick managed. High in the Somewhere air and around drifting out to shallow center. Um, not Lindor like retreats episode, to the outfield but, um, grass and yeah, he, he had a no one. hitter going into the eighth inning. Um, now back. not that too long ago, so and to um, oh, we ended up just Joel throwing a shutout. shut out. And he, he out got it like seven in the third in inning before. They got a hit. I think we were playing Cleveland. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Three and one, though. As he's losing his control a little bit here on Madsen. Into the corner and slicing foul. And he fouls it off for the count of full. And Muto gives the sign, and Snell will deliver. High in the and air. And a fly ball to center field. Trout has a read Mike on it. Trout is under it. He two holds away. it in without any trouble, and there are two away. But yeah, Blake Snell has. Now um, the box field. now. I Alan think I, was, I think I was just thinking this to myself when I was playing Pumped yesterday. Um, Snell has ended up being a huge pickup. And he'll get under it to put it away for, We traded Rory Gurriel Jr. for him, who is now uh, traded him to the Rays. The Rays didn't even keep and him and for that sure long. He's on now a white like sock. And, um, yeah, so that, that, oh my goodness. Wow. The first out, the field. Lindor robbed of a Taking hit. In once again, Mike Trout, mm -hmm. one for two oh, yeah, in the so game that, that was, they traded him. He's not even on the team anymore. And we got the reigning Cy Young for him. Right. And Manson. then, and well, he hasn't the performed out. as Cy Young, like, super 
much so far for us. And still this year he has a pretty high ERA. He has still been such a big pickup for Lord of Gurriel Jr. He just hasn't been what he was expected to be. He was a top ranked prospect and he just hasn't turned out the way the Rays I guess thought he would. This should end the same thing with actually. I mean, I think and I need to give Bobo Shet more time for the Nationals. The so Juan Soto's won an MVP Welcome for us already. So I'm definitely not eight. hating the move to trade Matt, Bichette I talked with the Kansas City manager during the inning break about the Royals' offensive production to this point. And, we never, and he told me, overall, I he's not happy with the didn't wait for the OSM, to put OSFM together. They've only managed one base runner in this game. It took so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. I don't even think we had Kevin Beach. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game um, isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen. If I don't they can know if he would have kept him or not. And climb back but into this the Jays have such a Thank sweet you, farm system that. Um, so the well, I mean, are empty with yeah, man don't really want to trade them. We, we traded them and we got some pretty good away. players out of it. The so two are now you see big pickup. Sharp ground ball to third. You know, Go on to first, gets him I mean, Snell, retired. huge pickup. Soto, massive pickup. We'll come on in um, now as he'll make his and this, this team, the like, if you see Anthony Rendon steps in, as Jake Newberry and now, now is on the mound for Kansas City. A hit in two at -bats for him at With this Rendon point coming up, we signed Mookie Betts in right free agency just because I thought so it would be stupid not to offer him to begin the We signed him. Had for about a month, we got to the six into the Nationals for Anthony Rendon and, and Steven Strasburg. Huge pickup because Rendon is a top five player in the league, away in my center. Moving under it, like, for real. He's got actual it MLB, he's a top five now. player, I think. Then, um, while Strasburg wasn't performing, the Rendon has killed it since he arrived in Toronto. Um, then we kept now Rendon, traded Strasburg to New York to get James Paxton, who, <coughs> who has been alive. such a great oh, pitcher in this franchise. Right I don't really understand. He's not that. He's been so good. He was super good for the Yankees. He's been pretty decent for us. So we traded Strasburg for Paxton. Went down on salary. So. We gained, deep to right center. we gained money by trading Mookie and Betts, and we, ga and we gained talent, play, and so, that yeah, that, this franchise has now really come together way, in ways I was really not expecting, I never thought, hey, we'll, 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 we'll sign Mookie the Betts to trade him right for Anthony Rendon and Steven Strasburg, but I didn't even think we'd sign Mookie Betts, and then when we did, I was like, all right, let's keep him, now we have another, now we have two, all-star out Wadri well, of three, Soto, oh, Trout, and, and Betts. And, uh, yeah, uh, Betts didn't and perform, like and so, make it into the VIP uh, yeah, we did no what we runs, had to do. No hits, one error so far for Kansas City. One, two pitch, popped, popped up. up. And there's out number two. Snell has not gotten a ton of strikeouts as he's moved Digging on in, in this Dominique. game. Montano. But he's he still getting out, out and that's really what last time right. through. Montano. So in MLB the show, they care way too much about strikeouts and that end. It's basically it's whoever in leads the league in strikeouts wins the show. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. As long as they have like a sub-4 ERA. Time to begin the countdown. Well, I don't know. It could be time to begin the countdown. I'm not going to say anything because I actually probably will say something, but... Into the box, JT Romuto. Yeah, we're start getting the close. In what's been a fast I showed you our settings today. earlier. I'll show you. I'll show them again. One and two count to the Blue Jays right signal here, just card. So nobody thinks we're cheating. All star veteran, what we always play. Right. And that KC Penn now is a right hander's begun. Before the series, up. actually, we, we we dropped two out of three against Boston, but we had won 15 in a row before that. And then this is game three of this Kansas City series, and we have won the first two, so we're looking to get another sweep and to continue rolling along Hit here. fairly well out towards straightaway center, moving under um, Atochi, looks yeah. it into his glove, three, and there's one gone. nothing lead is looking pretty nice right now. The now Kessin here, uh, 0 for 2 in the game, he hit it real well in his last step at, but right at the left fielder. 
again, really did not have to get much for, give up much for him. He's an 80 overall. And there are 77 now. speed? Never thought of him as a fast player. Like that. He's a okay. Stepping in for the Jays, Francisco Lindor. Um, yeah, so he was an 80 overall, just gave up a few pretty good prospects, Maddie, got him, box. and uh, Charisma, now we have a second smile, baseman for the future, or and that is um, in the left field, a base one of our middle infielders, Lindor or De Young, is to get injured. Well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his first um, hit of the game here, here, and that'll extend his yeah. hitting streak. Yeah, he didn't come out of his. Yeah. He didn't come out of what he was trying to do all day, Dan. Kept the front four man bench. Off. Kept the ice water in his veins. Good bullpen. And didn't try and get too big. Yeah. Extends the hit and streak. Nice job. You know, D. Rowe. Last I year I thought we had him. We had like guaranteed World Series team is, though, and we got bumped in the wild card. The game to take the pressure off. He had to wait for the seventh inning and this one to come through. All right. And they won't get him on the corners with two away. Four last year's most valuable play. Well, D. Rowe, that looked like a pretty easy inning to start off. One, one pitch from Chad Sobotka. Singles, runners at first and third. Yeah, they put traffic on him. I, I guess I would throw it back at you, Dan. You get two quick outs right there, and that then you ball get two hit well to left. Are you even Slicing away from the left fielder, it is down. One run scores. They're going to send Trout scores. to the plate. It'll be close. And that's it for the third to keep Soto at second. It's five it. nothing. Jays off the two RBI hey, stand up double for Juan Soto. Now a three one count, and Anthony Rendon steps into the batter's box. But a five run deficit. Feels like it might just and be a little had bit a too much. They don't double have many outs in the game. And it's up to a three-two full count now. <laughs> hey, there was great arm action on that three-one changeup three, right two. here. He's got this guy thinking. Hits That's the beauty right down. now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup? Or do you stay right, the and the inning Phillips is over. He's under it, and he makes the catch for. Right Stepping now, up now, Leo three Miranda he flew out history. in his last at bat. It doesn't look very promising so far in this Hopped one up. as we move into the later innings. Down by the ball, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. All right. Now, back. now with the plate, Joel just needs Madsen. to do what he's done all game, and he should be fine. And this is lifted That's a fly high ball the into right, right field, field into foul territory. Hanniger no lays out not even close. The one two. One two pitch to Madsen. Is looked at for all number high. two. They're two gone now. Fourth that the Roy the Royals have gotten, I believe, two base runners. Snell has one walk in the game. Ready for They've another chance. Base, so. Alan Bennett Alan. he's 0 for two Bennett. with a strikeout in this no, one. That's all. Bases are empty here with two men out. Alan Bennett up. Popped him up. Fly ball. Pop up actually in foul territory. Rendon there, the and the inning and is over. In we inning. head to the eighth in a five Your nothing Michael game. Been summoned from Michael Gibbons, former so Baltimore Oriole, I guess now coming to the plate now. Pitcher Miguel. for the Royals. That's not a bad pick for the Royals. Here it comes on one and one. I honestly Grounder think that that was a good move. I don't know why, but that's just. He just seems like he would fit in in Kansas City. Like, he just seems like one of those people that would that would be a royal, ground. you know? And in the center field of Lorenzo Kane, early trouble here to start he just the seems like a royal, you know? Well, he was a royal for a while. Yeah, Maddie, he's having a monster <laughs> season. Well, Lorenzo Kane's always been one of my favorite right there, players in the league. Like I was saying, play, like, when I first started, play, started play, watching baseball, matter, I think, you're think you're my favorite players went Andrew McCutcheon and then Lorenzo Kane. This is in the center, and they're in business now to start the eighth. And he's safe. And now two in the scoring position. Like, uh, yeah, it was Andrew McCutcheon and where Andrew came. Now it's like... Hitter, Vladimir Guerrero. He hits here in a spot Guerrero. where he might be now able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt, down five, another and maybe Aaron Judge. Very well I know I'm forgetting off, somebody. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they can get out of this jam, though. Oh, oh man, he just Wait, tied him up in knots right there. The one two. It's like Fran it's like Francisco Lindor. Skied into straightaway right. Um, Phillips is there for oh, it. Oh yeah. Francisco Lindor Paul Gold. Makes the catch, but the runner from third one, breaks Soto for home. And, uh, no. Sixth run yeah, will come Francisco and fly. It's Aaron now Judge. six zip. One Soto Paul Goldschmidt. 
Yeah. I think I'll go with that. So stepping in, JT Bermuto with a potential second run of the inning stands at third. Two goals but Phil is such a good player. And in front Judge, of the changeup, like, and he can't at keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Run. You know, he's always going to be one of my favorite players, if not only for just for that reason, and he plays for my favorite team. So, ready with the yeah. two and two. This is lifted you know, into the air into towards right center, center field. field. That will I fall. I can't track it down as this ball falls. That was really stupid. I forgot what was what in the base running. Now he's tapping in, down. number seven. Oh, he's got runners now at the corners here, here with only one an RBI gun. opportunity for him. Can he come through? All he has to do is put a fly ball and he can drive home a run. 0 for 3 in the game. Not hope, I was hoping that we'd get a show out of him. Popped him up. It's not what's going to happen. Montano moving to his left. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. A tag, and he is out at second base. I, I have a plan for that. Costly decision there, as it's a double do it, right? play turn go to retire the side. Be safe, but the run is going now, home. number six, oh for two on the Fly afternoon so far. Field, Trout. Sent in the air out to straight away. One seven. away. Trout is right there, one down. The right fielder, number Brett Phillips, will bat next. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Pop up. And he popped Lindor. it up. Over to the left side of the infield. And he squeezed this one for the second remaining. out. Batter. And now is the Stanford product, Stop. Alex Blandino. Alex. Two away Alex in the inning. Blandino. And it looks like this Fastball could be another one-two-three inning for him. One, two. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this two, two. dominance up. Count even at two and two. Did he go? I think he Started did. Go, no, did he full count. Time. Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Trying to send him packing for the pitch. second time. This is in Fly the ball. To center. Does center field. Another one, two, three for the ledger. Royals go down go. one, Make two, three, and Blake Snell is three outs Your away Steve from his three. Pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this Six one. Six-nothing Jays in the top of now the ninth, the and they're up to tack on a bit more for he insurance. He singled his last now. time up. Blue Jays shortstop with a one and two count. Now Boy, action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. They have a really good bullpen. Stung into the gap in right and center. And Lindor will kick off the ninth. As I was saying, first, such a great bullpen, right? For second. Then door kicks Arms off the ninth with a lead third. off triple. And he'll get there as he legs out the lead off triple. Stand up. Yeah, triple everyone knows this guy's been his, having his a great year. Triple play, of the year. He's not exactly a gazelle <laughs> on the bases, but he turns Two on the tents here and makes Mike it all the way to third. He might need an oxygen tank, but hey, he made it. Sky in the air and straight away left. Rips it way Bennett up into the play. air. It's not going to clear the yard. And the play is but made, but this should be good enough for an RBI Seven, as the runner nothing, from third really. tags up. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. The Number and now Juan Soto up. He's one for three into the with box. two RBIs Juan in this Juan Soto. One. Base is empty and one away following the sack fly. And Liner he hits it well, second. but fielded at second. And there's out one. number two. And that brings up. I believe, like, number two in now, MVP Anthony candidacy. Rendon. He comes into this appearance Anthony in the midst Rendon, of a one three, for one four count. day. Andrew Hart is the number one. Three one. Swing and a ball and hit out toward right, well toward right center. Pretty well towards right center field. Tochi is going to have Caught him out there as he over. puts this away to retire. So we head to the bottom of the ninth. No Carlos Tochi and no one left. to lead it off. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Carlos Tochi starting things for his side in Fast the ninth as they face the Two improbable one. odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for Fly ball right field. These guys know these still count. Is at least for their own stats. There they one away. Chances as a professional. Henniger is there one away. Now Two outs left. Into the box Kyle. now, Kyle Higashioka. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Higashioka has walked the only base runner for the Royals in this right one. Two away. And there are two men gone now. The first base the first one. The Royals are down to their final out. 
So the batting order turns over now. Dominique He's set to go. Dominique Montano. Montano. He is Montano. the last man to stand Three in the one. way of possible history here this afternoon. Fly Three ball towards right center, center field. field. Hanneker. Dan Blake snails at it. And there it is. A no, a no hitter for Blake Snell. Ever picked up a baseball, dreams about, and he's done it. A no he did it. Him in one of the most dominant performances I've seen in a while. He's in the record books forever now. The second time in this franchise well, and the first time on no camera. Of course he's your player of the game. Of Blake player of the game. Snell. Yeah, probably a no the hitter. player of the game this one season. We'll have to make all year. Runner. He got some one help along the way from his defense, away but all in from all, this was perfect his show. And he game. winds up in the history books. Wow, no you're winning pitcher Blake Snell. He went nine First innings allowed, Blue no Blue hits, Blue seven, Blue Blue seven Blue strikeouts, Blue no Blue earned Blue runs, Blue and Blue one Blue walk. The loss will go to Glenn Sparkman. He went five innings, allowed four hits, no strikeouts, three earned runs, and two walks. Of course, Snell is Thank you our player of the game. Afternoon. What a way to honor Ned Yost, you know? No hit his club. That'll wrap up this episode of the Toronto Blue Jays franchise here in M.